uh, Craig Nolan here from the Arlington Weekly News and Arlington Independent Media, and we're here in Cherrydale, in the heart of Cherrydale, on the, the Saturday, the last Saturday in May 2014, and we're here to discover slash celebrate Cherrydale. Uh, folks have come out, it's a gorgeous day, and uh, we're going to walk around and talk to people and uh, find out where they're from and uh, how they're enjoying the day, so stick with us. I'm Marcy Gessel. I've lived in Cherrydale for 18 years. Oh, good for you. Yeah, it's a great neighborhood. There's lots to do here, and this is just one of the things. Well, this, we're, I'm Mike Doyle, I'm a volunteer firefighter EMT, and we're in the front of the historic Cherrydale Volunteer Fire Department Station, completed in 1919. This is the basic equipment that firefighters equip themselves with uh, going into a fire. This is called an SCBA. It is an air tank, it weighs 28 pounds, and it provides uh, breathing uh, capability for uh, anybody in a smoky or a hot environment. These are the two helmets, red helmet for a probationary or a recruit, black helmet for a structural firefighter. So that way an officer who wears a white helmet can know who is who. How much do the helmets weigh? Well, the total uh, turnout coat, boots, and helmet weigh about 28 pounds. About 50 pounds. Not oh. for the turnout. Oh, here. no, the turnout. And yeah. the SCBA uh, weighs 28 pounds. And I think we've got, let's, can we get somebody to get the SCBA on? Now, check this out. trying to do this in about two minutes. be underneath so the, the oh, right. coat the trousers and then the helmet would go on top <laughs> so it's very hard to understand what's going on when in a very noisy smoky claustrophobic environment you can't so you use interpretive dance <laughs> I'm Andrew Donaldson, and I came here in 1760, and uh, my son was Dorsey Donaldson. And uh, for the, Dorsey Donaldson is the founder of Cherrydale. This is a Cherrydale event, and he's the one that, that named it. And uh, you might ask yourself, how did, how did it get to be named Cherrydale? Well, originally this area was Donaldsonville. And uh, Donaldsonville, because Dorsey, because my son and a bunch of other offspring lived here, and so it became known as Donaldsonville. And then we decided we wanted a post office, and so um, to get a post office, you had to pick a name. And uh, they said, "Okay, Donaldsonville." That had already been taken. So um, Dorsey Donaldson, my son, had made and and planted a whole bunch of cherry trees around here amongst others that were already here. And uh, so he just looked around and said, how about Cherrydale? And uh, they went with it. So that's how he got its name. What is your mission today? It's to get as many people into the neighborhood and to see what the neighborhood offers as possible. We have a lot of businesses. It's a very walkable neighborhood. And um, pretty soon we're getting a bike share. So it's also a very good cyclable neighborhood. A lot of local craftspeople in Arlington and also specifically in Cherrydale and Maywood, which is our neighboring neighborhood. Well, thanks very much for uh, talking with us uh, and enjoy your day. You got a great one for it today. All right. So I'm Lindsay De Palma. I am the founder of House of Steep, which is a tea house and foot sanctuary in uh, Cherrydale um, on Lee Highway. 
We opened in September of 2012. It's a place for you to soak your feet in a hot herbal bath, drink your hot herbal tea, and above all else, relax. I was an HR manager prior to coming to uh, this idea that I needed to create a space for everyone to relax and step away from their days. My great-grandmother Agnes, um, her picture's here at the store, she's kind of our little mascot, uh, she introduced me to tea and herbs at a very young age, far before I could really learn anything from her. Um, but throughout my life I found myself collecting information, building spreadsheets, and you know, just trying to learn more about herbs and you know, natural things. So I actually studied biology as an undergrad, and I think that it kind of was lending to um, some of the foundation that she kind of gave me. As I was putting together the business plan around tea, I was thinking to myself, like, I think this might be my calling, in fact, because here she is. She, you know, lived a very healthy life, practiced some of the practices that we try to do here when, around relaxation, um, and she actually soaked her feet every day with Epsom salts. Not kind of the flowery, essential oil way that we do it, but certainly um, in, in her own way, and so I think that it's a little bit of a nod to her and, and, and the health that she kind of embodied while she was on, on our planet. And the more I thought about what I was trying to create around relaxation, it, I thought it needed to be a little bit more of um, a quiet destination, but still a reminder of just how busy our world can be, you know. So right along Lee Highway seemed to make sense, and I live in Arlington too, so this area was kind of, I would drive by every day and it would kind of wink at me a little bit. So. Once I um, realized the space was available for lease, then I felt, it felt right. It felt like it was the right place for me. So yes, Cherrydale, um, I feel the Cherrydale area is very cozy. Um, there's a lot of families in the area, but there's also um, a draw from some of the um, young professional crowd as well. So as you're you know, cuddling up with your cup of tea, it's really nice to be a part of a neighborhood that actually embodies you know, that cozy, that welcoming, that warmth. So we're really excited to have a booth set up at uh, Discover Cherrydale. We're going to have samples outside um, of our, our tea as well as um, our pound cake. We make a chamomile pound cake and um, we're going to have a few other little giveaways, some coupons, and then inside we're going to actually do a tea pairing. Just do um, a little bit of education around each of, the, each of the items that we're offering on the inside as well. I think that Cherrydale holds something that's so unique and that I'd love to see the businesses be able to continue to preserve that uniqueness. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Homayun Karimi. Uh, I'm one of the owners at Kite Runner Cafe. Uh, we are uh, glad to be part of the uh, Cherrydale uh, community. It's a very welcoming community. When, I, when, when we moved from uh, overseas, we moved to Arlington in Cherrydale, actually. I, I think it's still part, part of Cherrydale. We, we try to stay away, distinguish ourselves from the other kebab places. Uh, uh, we are trying to make it a little bit more than just kebab. Uh, for instance, uh, we serve alcohol, but our food, our meat is halal. So we're trying to make everyone happy. It, so for everyone, it's a win-win situation. It's a fusion cuisine. Uh, mostly we have Afghan food. Uh, we also have uh, Lebanese and Indian. Uh, so we try to combine things uh, and like kind of serve three cuisines under one roof. Afghan recipes are uh, uh, family recipes, uh, that mostly my mom, uh, and uh, Lebanese uh, recipes are from uh, Lebanese Severna. Uh, I worked there for 12 years. And the uh, Indian, or say Indian slash Pakistani recipes, I grew up in Pakistan, so I learned cooking there too. So. Kite Runner is a book written by um, our beloved author, Khalid Husseini. Uh, he has three books, and Kite Runner was his first book. Uh, so we uh, give him a lot of credit, obviously. Um, everyone, whether you're from Afghanistan, Pakistan, or India, uh, most of the kids, it's part of tradition to fly kites. Uh, so uh, there's huge... Um, festivals, you know, uh, in, in, in uh, Afghanistan and uh, Pakistan, uh, in, in India. So uh, the name comes from the book, but also because it's part of the culture and tradition in Afghanistan and India and Pakistan. So it explains a lot. As soon as you say kite runner, people do it's the name with the cuisine. Uh, so that helps a lot too. So most of the time, as soon as somebody says kite runner, oh, it must be Afghani. Well, in the, in the, in the beginning, it was uh, mostly Cherrydale. Uh, 
because we uh, did not do any advertising, like say outside Cherrydale or uh, very far. Uh, that's one of, one of the reasons also when we offered uh, 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 delivery was within two mile radius. Uh, but now it has changed a lot. Um, uh, now we have uh, clients that they come from Roslyn, Clarendon, uh, McLean, uh, the other side of Arlington, you know, uh, Falls Church. So uh, it's, it's, it has expanded, you know. So uh, a lot of people, they come, they're like, we drive here all the time. We didn't know that you guys existed. Uh, uh, it, it, it is becoming a destination and there is a lot more. I mean, I worked uh, uh, for over a decade uh, at Lebanese Taverna. If somebody asked me where Cherrydale was, I honestly did not know where Cherrydale was, you know. Uh, but uh, once you, I believe, once you visit and once you know about it, uh, I think it kind of stays, okay, this area is, because it's a very small community, tight community, you know. So uh, I, I think it's becoming a uh, destination to a lot of people. And uh, as uh, Lindsay and I were speaking the next day, the owner of House Steep, it, she, ha she has some great ideas about, like, there's so much to be discovered. Uh, so, and I believe in that too. How are you participating in the Discover Cherrydale event? Uh, First, we thought that we put like a booth outside, but since we're so close to the sidewalk, it's just a door, uh, we may do some uh, 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 baklavas outside, and we're thinking also to offer uh, one of our very uh, uh, favorite drinks, mango lassi. And then the rest, we'll have menus and uh, um, coupons, you know, um, to let people know that we are here. So. Uh, there's something about Cherrydale. It's a small community. I feel people, they are so still attached, like together, everything they do is like, everyone knows everyone. Mm -hmm. So that kind of um, give us that idea that, okay, everyone knows everyone. So we also thought that, okay, word of mouth really matters here, you know? Yeah, if you are, um, want to be a, a, a business owner within the small community, and to be part of the community, to support the community, and also get uh, support back also. So that was the main idea. Well, my name's uh, Mike Egbert, and I'm the general manager here at Cherrydale Hardware. Well, Cherrydale Hardware has been in the neighborhood since 1938. We're one of those old-fashioned, old-timey neighborhood hardware stores. Uh, it's a lot of stuff jam-packed in a little small space, and little nooks and crannies full of all kinds of little knobs and screws and nuts and bolts. Uh, I started working here way, way back when I was in high school, which doesn't seem that long ago, but 16 years ago. Well, Cherrydale Hardware has always been an independent hardware store. We've never been affiliated with any chains. And one of the great things about that is it lets us be completely independent and let us buy whatever we want, stock whatever we want. Uh, whatever the neighborhood and customers are asking for, we're able to get it. Uh, and it gives us a lot of just you know, independence and and running it day to day, which really you know, makes it a you know, fun, exciting, dynamic, enjoyable kind of experience for being an old store. Cherrydale particularly, while it's a you know, busy little stretch of Lee Highway and, and it's an urbanized uh, little stretch, uh, still feels very closely tied to the neighborhoods around it. Uh, and I think those neighborhoods feel closely tied to the urban stretch of Cherrydale uh, wh where we are. Uh, and one of the nice things about that is there's this sort of really easygoing, friendly sense of community uh, that spreads, you know, from the neighborhoods behind us, across the street, neighborhoods across on the other side, uh, up and down the strip, and even to folks who you know, lived here at one time and moved away and just come back every once in a while to see how things have changed or how they've stayed the same. But just in the last decade or so, the area has gotten more built up and We've hit the point, I think, where everything's filled in for the most part. Um, you know, there's, there's not a lot of empty lots sitting around anymore and things like that. Um, it's gotten a little bit busier. Uh, you know, some might say it's gotten a little bit more hectic. But I think it's managed to hold on to a kind of a neighborhood feel and a smaller feel and so on. Uh, Cherrydale still feels a little bit lower key and a little bit more local. Uh, I think a lot of that's because so many of the shops and businesses around here have a more independent and eclectic feel to them.
obviously, I think the bulk of our business is coming from you know the neighbors that know us. You know, we're a very local kind of a business, and we've got a very uh, devoted, uh, wonderful local following. Uh, and folks that come in because they know they can get you know, the same service they've gotten for the last 30, 40 years. We, we say that you know, we, we sell customer service almost as much as we sell hardware. Uh, we can help you find whatever the, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for to fix your house or fix something that's you know, wrong in the backyard or whatnot. Uh, even if we don't sell it, we can probably tell you what you need. And we all really enjoy helping people troubleshoot things. Uh, we really enjoy finding problems with things. When somebody comes in with a new challenge, it's, you know, it's always kind of fun and exciting. That, oh, well, I haven't seen one of those before. Let's see. It. It's kind of like this one over here. And we bounce ideas off of each other and uh, try to pool, pool our collective knowledge, so to speak, um, to put it all together. But uh, uh, everybody's very friendly here. And we've got lots of you know, regulars that we know on first name basis, and they know us. Uh, it, it's a very, very nice, tightly knit, but yet still dynamic and uh, diverse kind of neighborhood. Um, we're smaller scale, but it means that we can change what we stock, we can you know, help people on a more personal level than a large store can. Um, you know, the people who are placing the orders for you know, the goods that you want are the same people who are helping you find them. Um, and if the minute you come in the door, they're waiting for you, they're ready to help you. There's a, there's a very different, much more personal level of service uh, and a much more almost personal relationship. Right, the, the hardware store is almost like two stores here. We've got all the j basic hardware in the front, and then the back we've got a garden shop seasonally that we set up, and it's got you know grass seed, it's got your fertilizers, all kinds of hand tools, potting materials and supplies, uh, and lots and lots of know-how and help. At some point in your life, you're going to need a couple of screws, and you're going to need a couple of keys cut, and you're going to need paint mixed, and all these sorts of things that make the rest of your life a little bit more comfortable and manageable. Uh, you're going to need a new flapper for your toilet. The necessities of our modern existence. Um, and I think you know, having a place nearby where you can pop in, ask your questions, find out what the you know, solution to that problem is, get the right product and get out and get home, and then still have the rest of your Saturday to have fun with the family and so on is really, really nice and really, really important. Mike at Cherrydale Hardware, and this is our uh, table we've got set up uh, today for Discover Cherrydale. Uh, we've got a whole range of uh, gardening solutions and stuff laid out here, uh, primarily stuff from Ortho, as you can see. Uh, we've got our problem solver book, so people come by with any kind of problems. What's this little thing growing on my leaves in the garden? Uh, what, you know, what's causing my, my plants to wilt? How do I bring my ficus back to life? Flip through, we can find exactly the right solution. All the, all those little sorts of problems and stuff like that. Uh, we're signing off on the scavenger hunt, and uh, we've got some cute little giveaways and stuff like that. Oh, Cherrydale Hardware camera-shaped keychains that also serves a bottle opener. And uh, we've also got our Cherrydale koozies as well. We're giving out to folks doing the scavenger hunt. Not that we're trying to endorse any particular kind of uh, beverage consumption and so on. It's going to be used for non-alcoholic things as well. But, uh, nice summer day like this, it seems pretty appropriate. Uh, we also got a sign out about hurricane tax uh, holiday right now going on in Virginia. This is actually the last day of it. Uh, but the last, uh, last week in May, uh, Virginia has a sales tax holiday and all kinds of stuff that count as hurricane preparedness items. That's like tarps and duct tape and batteries, all kinds of little odds and sods. Stuff for your chainsaw even. Uh, all counts as all tax exempt. So make sure people know about that too. Really great turnout, lots of people coming by, lots of people having fun out here today. It's a beautiful day for it, it's been a lot of fun.